Matthew chapter 24 verse 6 and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars see that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet Brakatai Hawa, Brakatai Hawa Shai Brakatai Hawa, Brakatai Hawa Shai Brakatai Hawa, Brakatai Hawa Shai Call Halal Lai, Yahweh Bashim Hawa Shai That's Hebrew, interpret Bless Yahweh, Bless Yahweh Shai All praises to the Father Yahweh In the name of the Son Yahweh Shai I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad Teaching his word and sincerity and truth Shalom This is a uh, the book of Matthews, chapter 24. And if you have the red letter edition, you would know that these are the words directly from who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, which his true name is what? Yahweh Shai. All right, which Yahweh Shai means he deliverer, he savior. And who he's going to return and save is the elect of Israel. Okay? And from his warning, in which he told us thousands, 2,000 years ago that we were going to come into a time where there were going to be rumors of wars. And right now, what's circulating through the media and through the air is this World War Three. All right, everyone should know that Trump ordered a strike, a drone strike, upon the commander of one of the commandos, top commandos for for Iran and you know everything is uh at high tension man they said that uh well it was seen that that uh Iran for the first time on a uh religious temple they they held up a red flag meaning a time of war you know and also too just a few minutes ago a brother sent me a video with the Iranians uh where there was what was it millions it was millions of them you know out to protest or out to march you know because uh who who this devil killed the americans killed was well beloved um i forgot to say his name salami whatever his name is the commando he was well beloved man you know and um you know now this is what the beginning of what? World War Three. So the Lord said, let me just read Matthew 24 and verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. Key thing is that you, you don't be troubled in your spirit, man. You don't be troubled and scared because you know you know this got this is this has to be it. Because first off, going, them going into Iran is prophecy, which Bible prophecy. Number two, not only mainstream media is talking about this but even social media within uh you know jake's entertainment you know jake is actually making mockery making fun you know making making joke about this matter you know you know brothers are sending me videos left and right or all the memes and what jake talking about like everything is a fucking joke you know but this is real you know and um, that's how Jake is, man. So it says, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. You know, those that uh, uh, have the faith of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, we're not going to be troubled because we know that this is prophecy. It says, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. And maybe I'll title the video, but the end is not yet. Because that's another key, another key. Uh, 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 thing that the Lord said that the end is not yet because why there's still prophecies that have to be fulfilled the RFID microchip which which will be forced upon people okay which the Bible called the mark of the beast we understand it's, it's a few things left you know and that made that's one of the major last ones is that force of the chip before before this place be destroyed you know it's written in the scriptures that Babylon the Great is going to be destroyed so you should ask the question, what is Babylon the Great? Where is Babylon the Great? And I'm going to tell you, Babylon the Great is America, North America, man. All right? Now, it says, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. 
So it's a lot of things that's taking place, you know, that leads up all the way to the end of the rulership of these Edomites. Okay. It says, all these are the beginning of sorrows because there's nothing great. Okay. There's nothing uh, comfortable coming as far as this near future, which is, which, which is, uh, you know, nothing comfortable coming toward this place, which you call America. Okay. You know, it's nothing but pestilence, earthquakes in diverse places, famines, woes, destruction. You know, it's going to be race wise. It's going to be hard to look for food. You know, it's going to be chaos here, man. You wait till, you know, these Iranians, you know, I'm pretty sure do an attack because they vow to revenge that commando, man. You know, and, they, and this, this is serious. So, starting off the 2020, 2020, you know, which is the Apostle Cardinal this year, the year of prophecy, is that 2020 vision, man, prophecy. And you can expect that something big is going to happen, man. And, and when this place do get attacked, all right, by these other countries or Iran per se, it's going to turn this place into a different world. And... The people here in America, you know, Jake, Esau, these heathens, you know, that was born and raised here or been here for years and love the way this life goes, freedom, you know, make money, wickedness, you know, you're going to be uncomfortable, you know, scriptures, hey, scriptures got to get fulfilled, man. I'm thinking right now of the other prophecy, which is written in Isaiah 13, when it said that they all shall flee into their own land. You know, and everyone that is joint done to him shall be thrust through. So, you know, the other nations gonna want to get the hell up out of here, man. When they see that this shit ain't right, <laughs> you know, when things ain't comfortable here in Babylon, man. So we're in the beginning of sorrows, man. It says, "Then shall they deliver you up and be afflicted, and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake." All right, because Yahweh Shai, which they already know, you know, they had, uh, you know, I'll, I'll say, you know, they, they, they staging shit up because it just don't seem right. You know, out there in LA, they put the post up on the, on the walls. I mean, on the um, poles saying that Yahweh Shai is coming. So they know who Yahweh Shai is. They know who we preach. Okay. They know the name. What, what, what Esau planned on doing, fulfilling what? You know, another prophecy is wisdom of Solomon. All right? Uh, when they say, let, let his words, let us see if his words be true. He say, he say, if he, he say, he boasts that his, his, his father is the most high. Let's see if his words be true. You know, so it's plenty of things that's got to happen. And every day playing is uh, playing according to his role, man. You know, so that's why the Lord said the end is not yet because we hearing of this World War III. You know, we seeing that we're going to go into it, you know. America already done took the first, you know, took the first devastating blow. You know, I think he was the second in command, you know, top generals, you know. Brought a lot of treaties together, brought, you know, he was somebody well-beloved, you know, over there. So anyway, it says, Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. And ye shall be hated for all nations for my name's sake. Then and then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. So there's nothing good coming here. You know, you got Jake going going to school. You know, I'm riding past, you know, Jake out here going to school and shit. You know, looking for their future here. There is no future for this place. This future for this place is destruction, man. You know, so if you ain't you ain't right with the Lord, and you ain't one of the Lord's elect, you in trouble. You in trouble, trouble. <laughs> you know, inside joke. But anyway, you know, uh, let's let me see here. Uh, let's read thirteen. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. So it's all about enduring to the very end. We don't know our steps. We don't know our way. 
but we do know that the Lord God is the steps of the righteous, you know, and whatever our lot is, we have to endure that all the way to the end, you know, if you ain't serious about your life, then, you know, you're, you I'm gonna say it, you're a fucking fool, man, you're a fool, dog, you're a fool, dog, you know, you gotta be serious about your life, man, these are serious times we're living in, man, this, it ain't no joke, man, he saw demonizing, demonizing,